This class is brought to you by the LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Centers. The centers are a place to help you be active, healthy, and informed. We hope you enjoy this virtual class. Hi, my name is Kim. Thank you for joining me for a Pilates class that your entire family can enjoy. So grab a hold of your mat, a water bottle, and a towel, and let's get it going. Good, so now that you're lying down on the mat, you're gonna grab a hold of both knees and pull them into your chest nice and easy with a nice and easy top pull. Exhale and release. We're gonna do that four more times. Inhale, give it a nice tight pull. Exhale and gently release. So you're gonna inhale nice and easy, breathing and release. And just two more times, guys. Inhale nice and easy. And one more time. Inhale nice and easy. Exhale, release. Grab a hold of the right knee and extend your left leg all the way down straight out from that left hip. And just give your right knee a nice taunt pull and stretch. And then you're just gonna go ahead and switch sides. Give the left leg a nice easy taunt pull, making sure that the right leg is lengthening out from the hip. Good, so from there we're gonna go ahead and give both knees another pull. You're gonna inhale and roll and fold up. Exhale and unfold. Four more times, nod and fold up and release. And three more, nod to fold. And two more, inhale, nod and fold. And one more time, inhale, nod and fold. Nice and easy, gentle pull. Exhale and release. Release and bring your feet down to the mat. Open your legs shoulder width apart, reaching your arms straight back behind you with your navel deep down into your spine. You're gonna inhale and just press your arms straight down in front of you. Exhale and release. Inhale, press all the way down. Exhale, release. Three more times. Inhale, press all the way down. Exhale, release. And when you're pressing down, you wanna create that resistance, create a force as you're pushing all the way down, keeping that rib cage closed. You wanna think of having a corset on with your right side pulled over to your left and your left side pulled over to your right. And from there, go ahead and release. Good, continuing that idea with your arms reaching straight back behind you. You're gonna nod forward, press down, lift your head and shoulders and reach. Extend the right leg out, pull the right leg back in and return. Again, so nod forward, nod and fold, inhale, extend the left leg out, pull the left leg in, exhale and return. And three, Good, and four. Keep going, we're going for 10. Five, extend, pull it back in. Good, and six. Keep breathing, seven, nod and fold. Good, eight. Two more times, guys. Nine. Don't forget about that press. And don't forget to breathe. Ten. And return. From here, we're going to go ahead and straighten the legs straight out in front of you, flexing your feet. Zipping those inner thighs together. You're going to nod forward, roll up, release the air from your lungs as you stretch all the way in front of you. Zipping the inner thighs together, pulling those shoulders down, return to the mat one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. Pull your navel deep into your spine, 
Squeeze and pinch that bottom. And we're gonna do three more. Rolling forward. And roll it back. Two more. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. And one more time. And not to fold. Making that C curve. Relax those shoulders. Release the air from your lungs. Zip those inner thighs together. Control. Exhale. And release. So we're gonna go ahead and just give our knees a nice and easy gentle push or a pull and just nice and easy, just rock side to side. Good, go ahead and keep a nice top pull on that right leg, extend that left leg straight out from the hip, extend your right leg all the way up to the ceiling, reach your arms straight down, make sure those shoulders are down, Chin is up so that you can create an airway. Left leg is reaching straight out from the hip. We're gonna cross over towards the shoulder. Reach and circle down and around, back to the center. You wanna make sure you stay within your body's box, which is shoulders over hips. Make these circles dynamic and nice and easy and precise. And stay in control. One more time. Now reverse to the right. Down, around, up. One, and two, stay strong and controlled on the opposite side, which is your left. Try to keep your body quiet. Good job. And now go ahead, just breathe, gentle, nice, easy pull. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So we're giving that left a nice, easy pull, reaching that right leg straight from under that hip. Extend that left leg all the way up to the ceiling. Keep that right leg reaching out. Shoulders are down. Check to make sure you have that corset on. And we're going to cross circle. One. Two. Make sure you stay with inside your body's box, which is your shoulders over hips. Stay in control using that powerhouse. And now reverse. And one. And two. Good. Stay balanced. Three and four and five go ahead and give it a nice easy gentle pull now bring both knees in towards your chest and we're going to give it another nice easy pull return your hands to the mat make sure your heels are close to your bottom and we're going to go ahead and reach the right toe out towards the mat and we're going to alternate switch so tapping the toes to the mat. At the same time, keep your heels close to your bottom. Keep breathing. Make sure your shoulders are down. You're neutral. Your navel's deep into your spine. And now we're gonna reach out and go a little bigger. So from here, we're gonna come up and reach out. Toe tap, reach out. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. And now we're going to go even bigger. Reach out towards the front of the mat. One, reach out towards the front of the mat. Two, keep growing. Three, reaching. Four, five, six. Reach those legs all the way out there. Seven, good, eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. Go ahead and return, give it a nice, easy, gentle pull. Now bring your feet to the mat, opening your legs shoulder width apart. Bring your hands onto the back of those legs. We're gonna nod forward and fold. We're gonna climb all the way up in a C curve. Now we're going to sit up nice and tall. And now you're going to flex your feet. With your hands on the back of your legs, reach down to your ankles. Inhale and drop the head forward. So we're going to climb down, create a C curve in your spine, and hold it. Exhale, come all the way up, and breathe. 
Four more times. Walk it down. One, two, three, four. Hold five. Still in that C curve. Exhale up. And you want to make sure you don't go too far. Well, you'll know if it's when you're coming up and it's a struggle for you to get up, that just means you compromised yourself and you went too low and climb up. So it's different for everyone. Two more. Just remember that we're all in this together and you're working at your own pace. Do what you can do and what makes sense for your body. Don't overdo it. Exhale up. And one more time. Inhale round. Challenge yourself. Exhale. But don't injure yourself. This is not a competition. This is all about you. Inhale. And we're going to hold it. And then we're going to exhale up in two counts. Inhale down in two counts. Exhale up. Just remember this is a challenge. Do your best and do what makes sense for you. Every day is different. Remember that mental exercise is just as important as your physical. So keep breathing. Keep working. Every day is going to get a little easier. One last time. And breathe. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Woo. And we're going to go ahead and lie back onto our backs. So go ahead and just climb all the way down, giving yourself a nice, easy pull. Remember to go ahead and stretch out that left leg and press and pull out the right. We're going to go ahead and open that right hip up and extend your left arm back. And then you're just going to come right back and we're going to switch sides. So left and open. Enjoy this stretch. Enjoy this time that you have on the mat to exercise in the comfort of your own space. And pull it in. Good. And now bring both knees in towards your chest. So grab a hold of the right knee. Your right hand is going to grab the right ankle. The left hand is going to grab on top of that knee. Extend your left leg out. Nod and fold. Again, if you need to, just keep your head down. So if you can, challenge yourself to come up. One, softly, gently pull and switch. Two, keep growing. And three. And remember, if you need to, keep your head down. Four. One more, five, and breathe. Give it a nice, easy, gentle pull. We're going to go ahead and place our hands behind our head with our elbows out to the side. Extend both legs up to the ceiling. Bring your heels together, toes apart, flexing your feet. We're going to nod forward, fold under the breastbone, and look at your belly button. Inhale and reach all the way out. Exhale all the way up. So you want to go down, pull a navel into the spine to reach it back up. Again, you can keep your head down if you need to. This is all about you. There's no competition. Just work with what works for you today. Every day is going to get easier. You'll continue to challenge yourself, but you're also going to grow. One more. And breathe. Give your knees a nice taut pull. So from here, place your feet onto the mat, hands on the back of those legs, round all the way up. Good, sit up nice and tall, flex your feet. So I want you to think about having this imaginary string and you're gonna connect yourself up to the ceiling with this string pulling you up. You're sitting right on your sit bones, pull your navel into your spine, reach your arms straight out in front of you, shoulder height, toes are pulled back. We're going to create the C curve within your spine and hold it. Exhale, release the air from the lungs, reach all the way out. Slowly roll it back, stack the spine, and sit up nice and tall. Again, inhale round, exhale forward. 
slowly round. Stack your spine, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, round. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. And round, stack the spine. And two more times, guys. Inhale, round, create that C curve within your spine. Exhale, release the air from your lungs. Stack, lift, one last time. Inhale, round, exhale, release. Roll it back, and lift, 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 and return your hands to the mat. You're gonna scoot your bottom up towards your heels, keeping your feet flat down, reaching your arms forward. We're gonna pull through Touch the mat and slide out looking to the right. Come back up and center. Pull through, turn, left, out. Good. Pull it through as you turn. Slide. Good. Pull it through. And again. We got this. We have one more. And bring it forward. You're gonna inhale round and touch your knees. Reach your right arm to your ear, press it down. Left arm to the ear, press it down. Exhale, sit up nice and tall. Back to that spot. Rib cage is closed. You have that string pulling you up. So you're gonna inhale, touch your knees. Right arm, left arm, and sit up. This one used to be really, really tough for me, so I totally get it. Inhale, you round, right arm, left arm, and breathe. The, but the more and more I worked on it, the easier it got for me. It's still a challenge, still one of my favorites. Every day, I'm working on something new. Two more. Inhale, round. So remember, they're challenging, but they're doable. Lift. Last time. Inhale, round, hold. Right arm, press it down. Left arm, press it down, hold it. Keep that navel into your spine, and we're going to reach it all the way up. Shake it out. Woo. And now we're going to go ahead and kneel on our knees. Sitting all the way back, reaching your arms all the way out. And now we're gonna come all the way up, open those legs shoulder width apart. Bring your hands right under the shoulders, check to make sure you're right under your shoulders. You're gonna firmly press your hands into the mat. We're gonna bend the elbows down, firmly pressing down, elbows kiss the mat, exhale, Press right back up. Inhale, press it down. Exhale, up. Try not to shift back. Keep your body quiet. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep breathing. And three. And four. You'll notice this one's gonna get easier and easier as you do it. Five. Eventually, you'll remember where you came from and where you are now. That's the goal. Good. I know you feel those arms working. Seven. Don't give up. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. Right from there, we're going to reach the right arm out, left leg back. Press it out and balance. Ten. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And right side, lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Zip it right back in. Sit it all the way down. Reach those arms all the way out. 
and come all the way back up again. And now you're going to come down to your left elbow and you're going to go ahead onto the left ball of your foot and you're going to reach the right leg to the corner, bring it to the shoulder and reach it back. One, good, two, keep going, three, keep breathing, four, five, five more, five, four, I know you feel that burn, five, Woo. four, three, every day we're just out here working, two, challenging ourselves, doing what makes sense for our own bodies, and press it out, and breathe. What's so great about Pilates, Pilates is for every body type. It's not just one body type, it's every body type. So go down to the right elbow, left arm, reach that left leg out, and lift. And one. Press through the heel of the foot. Two, three. Keep your navel into your spine, four and five and six seven eight two more nine one more and ten good press all the way back and stretch it out and roll all the way up and now we're going to go ahead and lie down on our backs So you're going to lie down on your back with the legs shoulder width apart. Walk your heels in close as you can to your bottom. Lengthen the arms and reach them straight back behind you. You're going to tilt your pelvis up all the way. When your hands touch the mat, lift your heels. Exhale, roll all the way down through the spine and reach those arms all the way back. Again. Tilt the pelvis, push and lift. Exhale, roll down and release. Good. Keep working, don't get discouraged. If it feels a little too difficult for you right now, we're not gonna give in, we can just modify it. So don't lift your heels. Just tilt your pelvis and reach your arms. Exhale. Good, so you have options. You can modify right here, no heel lift. Exhale, but if you feel like you can go ahead, go ahead and lift those heels. Tilt the pelvis, heels up. Exhale. Good, tilt, lift. And we have four more guys, and go, let's go. One. Again, don't forget, leave those heels down if you need to. Two. Eventually, those heels will be up. Three. Two more. Four. One more. And five. Exhale, roll all the way down. Follow through with the arms reaching back. Circle them around and give your knees a really, really nice, deep, taut pull. Extend your legs straight up to the ceiling, reaching your arms straight out in front of you. We're going to check to make sure we have that corset on. We're going to coil to the right, circle down and around, back to the center, hold. Left side, so we're corkscrewing. And we're going to keep these simple and small. But if you want to challenge yourself, it's okay to go a little bit bigger. And three, if you feel like you're ready for that. But if you're not, don't worry about it. You will be there soon. And left. We're going to do one more on each side. Right. And next time, go to the left. And breathe. Go ahead and give your knees a nice, taut pull. Bring your feet onto the mat. Hands on the back of those legs. Walk all the way back up into that C curve again. So great guys, you guys are doing good and we're almost there. So we're gonna go ahead in to the saw. The saw is one of my favorite, favorite exercises in Pilates because 
I just love the stretching of this one and the precision as well. So you're gonna bring your arms out to the T position. You're gonna inhale, twist. Bring your left hand on the outside of the right knee. Shave off your pinky toe with your pinky finger. Rotate the right hand up, bring your nose to your knee. Reaching back. Exhale, center. So we're gonna turn, exhale, soft. Diving forward, nose down towards your knee. And up. And center. Good, inhale, twist. And soft, rotate and dive. Make sure you have energy into that left. You want the sit bones on both sides on the mat, nose down towards your knee. Come up, pull your navel deep into your spine. Exhale, center. One more time. Exhale, breathe. Reach. Up. And hold. Check to make sure you have that corset on so that you're pulled up and pulled together. And bring your arms down and just shake it out. Go ahead and close your legs. Good, so now you're just gonna keep those legs closed and bring your hands onto the back of your ankles and slowly climb all the way down, creating that C curve, rounding, and lie all the way down. Walk your heels in towards your bottom and we're gonna go ahead and send that right leg out at your knee. You're gonna flex your foot and reach that leg all the way down to the ankle, point your toe and caress back to the knee. So flex down, point up. Inhale down, good, don't forget to caress, meaning that the right leg brushes against the left. Don't let the leg switch. Stay in control of the left side. And now reverse, right leg down, flex it up. One, good. Two, keep your navel deep into your spine. Three, continue with your breathing. Four, and five, switch legs. I find that the more I focus on my breath, the easier it gets for me. So flex all the way down. This is your inhale, exhale up. One, and two. And three, and four, and reverse. Point down, flex up, and one. Breathe it out, and two. Keep reaching those arms out in front of you. Two more, one more, and return. And now go ahead and extend that right leg out to the knee again reaching your arms straight back behind you. You're gonna nod and fold to reach. Exhale, roll it all the way down. Again, reach. Exhale, three more, just like that. Nod and reach, pull your navel deep into your spine. Reach, 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 reach. Two more. Exhale, one more time. and switch sides. So now we're gonna extend the left leg out to the knee and you're gonna come up, exhale, roll it all the way out. And again, nod and reach, keep those shoulders down, keep those inner thighs zipped together. And three, two more, nod, fold under the breastbone and reach. One last time. Don't forget about your breath. When it gets tough, focus on your breath. Woo. And bring it in and give it a nice, easy, gentle pull. And return your feet, roll all the way up. And we're gonna come right back onto our knees. So we're gonna find that quadruped position, which is your Kneeling on all fours with your back flat. You have that corset on. The energy is coming out from the top of your head and out from the tailbone. Don't let your back arch. Pull your navel into your spine. You're going to inhale, round, and hold. 
exhale, release that air from your lungs and relax into it. Inhale, round. Exhale, release. Inhale, round, scoop, 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 scoop. Exhale, release. And three more. Inhale, round. And release. One more time. Inhale, round. Exhale, and release. Good. So we're going to walk those hands out just a bit. And we're going to drop our hips all the way down and forward. Round all the way up. Exhale, sit back. Roll it up. Exhale, release and hold. Open that chest. And round up. And release. Two more times. Inhale, round up, 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 up. Keeping that navel into your spine. Exhale, release the air out from your lungs. Pressing down. Don't overarch that back. Lift, lifting the top of the chest up to the ceiling. And round. And release. One more time. Inhale, round. Exhale, open. Inhale, round. Exhale, and release. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week and at one of our resource centers as soon as we can. Until then, stay active, healthy, and informed.